There is absolutely nothing worse in this world when you have taken so much time and effort and put it into an awesome hairstyle. You walk out the door, a couple hours later, you go to the bathroom and look in the mirror and your hairstyle is just absolutely gone. It's flat, it's a boring mess. So in an effort to prevent this tragedy, today we are gonna be talking about my favorite products for achieving maximum volume in your hairstyle. Let's get started. So when it comes to achieving volume in your hairstyle, you need to be able to understand what I call the three pillars of volume. That being pre-styling, heat, and post-styling. Now pre-styling is preparing your hair for the styling process. Making sure everything is good to go to start your hair off right. Heat is an absolutely essential part of the hair styling process. You cannot achieve maximum volume if you don't use heat. And lastly, post-styling is just finishing off the hairstyle, putting on just the final touches to make everything come together. So as we're working through these favorite products of mine, I'm actually going to be putting them in my hair. So right now, I gotta get my hair wet so that I can prepare for the pre-styling process. All right, so just finished shampooing and conditioning my hair. That's something you should do every single time you are going to style your hair just to make sure that it's good to go. There's no leftover product in it so that you can achieve the most volume. If there's leftover product or if your hair is just dirty and has a lot of grease in it, that's actually weighing down your hair. It's, it's causing your hair to have more weight. So this is not anything that you would want when trying to achieve more volume. You want your hair to be as light as possible. So make sure you wash it, shampoo, condition it so that it's soft and fluffy and ready to be styled. And as you can see, I have my hair pretty much all the way dry here. I dried it with a towel because the first product that I'm going to use to achieve maximum volume is going to be a sea salt spray. Now the sea salt spray that I'm going to be using today is from Pete and Pedro. The idea behind using a sea salt spray is mostly that it makes your hair feel dense and thick. It makes it feel just like you went and swam in the water at the beach, got out and let your hair completely air dry. When it feels like that, your hair can almost stand all the way straight up because of the salt and all the sand that's in your hair. And this sea salt spray is gonna give you a similar effect. So now that my hair is all the way dry, what I'm gonna do is essentially just resaturate my hair with this product. And in my personal opinion, the sea salt spray is such a great pre-styling product because it's gonna give you a ton of volume before you have to put in a heavier product like a wax or a clay. All right, now that we have the sea salt spray out of the way, the next product that I'm gonna be using is Hans de Fuca Quicksand. Since this is gonna be a pre-styler, again, I am not gonna be using a lot of this product whatsoever. I am literally getting just a tiny, tiny pinch of it just to give my hair some texture and a little bit of added volume. Like literally you can see, I, I barely got anything on there, just a little bit. And that's because with the sea salt spray and the quicksand working together, you really don't need much of this stuff. You're gonna get a crazy amount of volume from just these two products alone and using the hair dryer, which you'll see in just a second. But I'm gonna kinda coat this throughout my hair. I'm not gonna focus it on any particular spots. Just gonna work it from the back all the way up to the front. Focus on the fringe, focus on the midsection, focus on the back. Mainly just get this all the way down to the roots of your hair so that your hair feels nice and thick. And another thing that's great about the Hans Fuko Quicksand is that it gives you that really gritty, dry texture because it actually acts as a dry shampoo as well. So if you have second or third day hair, you don't have time to wash your hair before styling it in the morning or whenever. You just have time to get it wet and you don't want your hair to look all greasy. So this is a perfect product to put in your hair because it's going to actually take the grease out. It's gonna dry it up, make it look a lot more clean. And it's even done that with the uh, sea salt spray that was in there before. As you can see, it's already dried it up significantly just by the nature of the product. All right, and the next product that you wanna use to achieve maximum volume in your hairstyle is a hair dryer. This is moving us on to the next pillar in the three pillars of volume, which is heat. Now, the reason heat is so vitally important to your hairstyle when achieving volume is because heat allows you to manipulate your hair. Putting a product in it might stiffen your hair up, it might make it stand up straight for a little while, but after a while, the product is going to soften up, it's going to essentially dissolve, 
and then you're just gonna be left with a floppy hairstyle. Heat, however, does not go away. When used in your hair, actually allows you to manipulate the follicles, change the direction, change the shape, because when you apply heat to your hair follicles, you're softening them. You're allowing them to loosen up so you can manipulate the way they're shaped and the way they're you know, facing. And when you use the proper technique, you can create crazy amounts of volume with the hair dryer. I mean, absolutely insane amounts of volume. And it's really as simple as blow drying your hair the opposite direction that you want it to lay. For example, my hair naturally likes to go off to the left. So if I blow dry my hair to the right, and then I actually style my hair to the left, all the hairs that are on the top of my head have been heated up and blown to the right. So when I go to lay them left, they're gonna have all this hair to lay on top of, which then creates a bunch of volume because it has the support, it has the structure to then balance on. And another thing you can do to achieve more volume with the hair dryer is if you want your hair to stand straight up or you want your hair to have a bunch of volume in the front, what you would do is blow dry your hair from the back, pushing all of the hairs forward, all the small hairs in the back, all of the medium sized hair in the midsection of your hair forward, and then blow dry your hair up from the front. So this is essentially blow drying all the small hairs forward so that the long hairs in the front have a support system to lay on top of from the back. Like literally most people would just leave the hairstyle right where it is because it looks like it doesn't really need much more. But watch this. See that? See how it lost all of that hold, all of that texture right in here? That's because I have not done the post styling yet, which is the third most important thing when it comes to achieving volume in your hair. If you don't post style, then your hair is gonna go soft, just like this. Yeah, it looks great when I put my fingers back through it, but it's still gonna be very soft. You need to go in with just a little bit more product after the fact. Now, the best products to use in a post-styling situation, in my personal opinion, are waxes and clays. These are gonna be the thickest products, these are gonna be the most dense products, and they are going to give you the most hold and volume all day long. Some of my absolute favorites and some of the ones that I would recommend that you try out are Hansa Fuku Claymation, Dynamite Clay by Valain, Hansa Fuqua Sponge Wax, Wax Zero by Valain, as well as Kiehl's Texturizing Clay. All of these products are gonna supply you with a ton of hold, a ton of volume, and a lot of texture. These are gonna be the products that you wanna go to when you want a hairstyle that's gonna last a very, very long time and one that's gonna give you a ton of volume. So the product I am gonna be finishing off this hairstyle with today is the Hansa Fuqua Sponge Wax. And I'm not gonna get a ton of this because if you use too much product after the fact, it could just weigh down your hair and ruin all the volume that you just got. So, how much do you wanna use? You really wanna get about the size of a nickel or a dime, literally not that much at all. And if you're putting this product in your hair and you feel like you've got enough in there, you don't wanna put too much more. You just wanna wash it off your hands and be done with it. So I'm gonna emulsify this, get it warmed up in my hands and ready for my hair. And I'm not gonna start on the front of my hair because I don't want a ton of product right here. I'm gonna kind of start in the back and then work my way up. And once your hair is kind of dry like this, it can be a little bit difficult to get the product off of your hands and into your hair. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm sort of like grabbing a bunch of hair and then wiping my hand across my scalp like that to wipe sort of the product into the hair. And then I'm going back in and just kind of working it all the way down to the bottom of the roots. All right, and that's good enough. That's got enough product in there for me. I'm gonna wash my hands now. All right, and now it's just time for me to style my hair. guys and that is pretty much it those are my favorite products for achieving maximum volume in your hairstyle my tips and tricks for making the most out of your hair every single day just as long as you follow the tips in this video you'll be able to get awesome volume in your hairstyle every single time but before we close out today's video I want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor rose gold and black 
Rose Gold and Black is my favorite jewelry company on the market right now. And this month, April 2019, it is their birthday celebration. They have been going strong for two years and they have a crazy sale going on their website right now. If you haven't already, you need to go over there and check it out because the discounts they have going right now are absolutely legit and they will not last long. Like I said, it's only for the month of April. Click on the link in the description of this video. Head over to rosegoldandblack.com and get yourself some of the highest quality jewelry for some of the best prices on the market. Alright guys, that wraps it up for today's video. If you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. Drop your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what videos you want to see next. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notifications bell so you can see when I post a video next. And I will see you guys next week. I'm out.